Right, 21 January 2021, and today I've got a story that I'm continuing from earlier today. So we, we've been covering this story for a very, very long time, and it's a very sad story because it involves someone that we've been covering here at Gambaco Media for a very, very long time. Every week, we used to broadcast Dr. Shingimnyeza sermons. And unfortunately, this week, he was exposed by his own daughter for a very, very viral cheating scandal. And this scandal has been going on uh, for the past two days. It's been dominating airwaves in Zimbabwe. So anyone who is online, is talking about Dr. Shindimnyeza, how he was cheating on his wife from way back, as far back, in fact, as 2015 up to this point. So I want to quickly show you the women that Dr. Shindimnyeza was dating. And then I want to go into why I think he ended up falling into this trap and what is going to happen next. So Dr. Singimyeza obviously is married and he's married to his wife, Wilma. They've got one daughter together. So this is a beautiful family. If you look here, you will see the beautiful family of Dr. Singimyeza. He's got an adult daughter called Nomsa. She's the one that broke this story on the internet. And then, obviously, he has been linked to five women. So I want to take you through the five women that he's linked to, and then we say why he has gone with these women. So I'm going to start with this woman here. Very few people know about this woman called Farai Mangwende, and she is apparently someone who was working under him at Zimsan. Unfortunately, I don't know if this is the correct picture, but this is the, the only picture I could get. She's very, very secretive. She's not someone who you can find anywhere. So I hope this is the correct picture. If it's wrong, we're going to correct this. And this was revealed by someone called Mazbaba Simba in July 2020. So this is when this was revealed. Then we have this second woman here. She is Guguletu. Munyeza. So she is the wife of the young brother, according to Mazibaba Simba. So all this information that is in the public domain is coming from someone who is on Twitter called Mazibaba Simba. He did a revelation back in July 2020. The story was quiet, but it became viral again when someone called Wellens Mjuru posted this story again this week. So it became viral this week again after being posted by Wellens Mjuru. So Wellens Mjuru posted this tweet, which you're watching here on the screen. That is what caused this story to reignite. And in this story, the, the daughter of Shingimnyeza had gone on his posts and she kept, tweet, so she kept commenting at the bottom of his messages to her mother. So she kept saying, how can you do this to a woman that you are cheating? Your messages do not align with what you do in real life. So I, I've shown you two women. I've shown you Farai Mangwende. I've shown you Guguletu Munyeza. So what happened here is that Dr. Munyeza is rumored to have asked out his young brother's wife. And then obviously the marriage broke down he gave this woman to his business partner. And she's now married to his business partner. He actually officiated at the marriage of his brother's ex-wife. And I think she's now called Guguletu Vaki. If I'm not mistaken, I'll correct myself in the, the comment section. Then with the third woman here, she's called Natalie Mandu. She owns a, a boutique called Style, Style Philosophy or a brand. 
she used to be a till operator at uh, Chicken Inn. And this is one of the, the food places. So she also featured in the video of Ja Preza. I think the video is called Mkwasha. She featured there and she is very, very vocal. So I managed to talk to, to her this afternoon, Man Natalie Mandu, and there is a lot happening here. Natalie Mandu is milking this story. She is out in public. She has released two videos since yesterday. One, she was talking to the young brother of Shingimineza. And then today, her sister has issued a video talking to Shingimineza himself. This is very, very fishy. Something is happening with, uh, with uh, Natalie Mandu. And my suspicion is that there is more between Dr. Shingimineza and Natalie Mandu. You can see she is a, a, a typical slave queen. So she is in a shop here uh, in November saying, swiping my man's black card, give me so much pleasure. And then on the picture on the left, you can see her on a boat. She's on a boat cruise somewhere. So she is someone that you cannot say, where does she get her money? Uh, I, I've asked them myself, who is the father of your, daughter, of your daughter? She did not want to say, where is your company located? She did not want to say, um, show me where in the, she, she claims to have awards, international awards. I say, show me one article where you have been on an award, where you have won an award. Show me, you're saying you're an ambassador for many organizations. Show me at least one organization where you are an ambassador. And she was unable to show me any of those. Uh, she couldn't show me any of those places where she has been an ambassador. So she is very suspect. Her daughter goes to a school called Bryanston uh, Primary School, one of the most expensive schools there in Harare, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't know how she's funding all this. So there is something fishy going on. The Munyeza family and Natalie Mayundu, they are, they are doing something there. They are talking together too much. They are releasing too much video. I do not know what is going on, but my suspicion is that this woman is probably the current woman that Dr. Mnyeza was dating. His wife was actually present on the second video, which was issued this afternoon, where she recorded the young sister talking to Dr. Mnyeza himself. So that was quite strange. I found that very, very strange. Then, obviously, there is this lady here called Pokelonare. There is a, a man, woman called uh, Tatalicious. She came out and said Pokelonare is dating Dr. Mnyeza. I am taking this with a, a pinch of salt. I do not understand why Pokelo would date Dr. Mnyeza. To me, she's got other people that she's dating. I know a few people that she probably is dating at the moment, but if she did have an affair with him, it was probably a short fling. And I, I know Pokelo is very, very connected. In fact, last year, when we published on our old newspaper called Harari Update, some posts about Pokelo, they were hacked and they were deleted from our website. All the posts with the name Pokelo were deleted from our website. So she's very, very connected. She was based in Dubai for some time. And she is someone who you cannot put next to a pastor. She has had a, a sex tape. She has dated uh, most of these guys that you, you think are, are not really like a pastor. She's been married to a number of guys. She's got a number of kids. So I don't think this makes sense to say that she's dating uh, Dr. Mnyeza. If she did date him, it was probably for a short period of time. But I do not think this is the situation there. Then let's go to Fadzai Mahere. One of my sources called me last night and said he's got it authoritatively that Dr. Mnyeza dated Fadzai Mahere when he was funding her. I've got no way of, of confirming this. And as we said, 
he's she's probably dating Oz's booty, but there is also stories that these guys are exchanging women. So one woman would date Dr. Mieza, then after that, he would hand her over to Oz's booty. So the two women, uh, Ruveneko there and Fadzai, two of them linked. One of my sources saying Fadzai also dated Dr. Shingi Mieza. Right, so I've given you five women. So if we go back where I started, we started with Farai Mangwende, went to Natalie Mandu, then we went to the young brother's wife, who is said to have asked out before the breakup of his marriage and before he handed it to his friend and business partner. Then I obviously showed you Fadzai here and Ruveneko. All these people, most of them, were leaked by a tweet from Mazibaba Simba, except for Natalie Mandu, who was leaked by Esilumumba, and Pokelonare, who was leaked by Tatelicious. So that is five women on top of his wife. So that is six women. And then in the phone call, so in the phone call between Natalie Mandu and the young brother of Dr. Shingiminez, the young brother says they know the woman who is being referred to, who caused Dr. Shingiminez to step down. So that makes it seven women between 2010 or 2015 and present. He was dating at least seven women, or he's linked to at least seven women. So uh, as you can see, our Facebook is not working. I apologize. The guys on Facebook are not getting this video. I will have to, to re-upload. We, we have had a, a technical issue with our Facebook. So our Facebook audience is not seeing us. And this is MS. If this is all true, Dr. Shingimiaza is Zimbabwe's Tiger Woods. It is true because he stepped down. If he had not stepped down, you're going to say it's just stories. But it is true. Because he said himself, he apologizes, he had a moment of weakness. Then I obviously want to go to who could have leaked this story. And my two suspects here is Natalie. She is my top suspect. I suspect Natalie was somehow unhappy and she leaked this story. She's got a daughter with him. Something happened here. She kept those uh, tweets and then she leaked th those uh, stories to the public so that she could embarrass uh, him or as a way of pressuring him. The reason why I'm saying this is that in December, in mid-December, as I said to you, we follow Dr. Shingibnyeza very, very closely. Every week we, record, we, we, we publish his sermons. So we know everything that he does online we suddenly realized that he stopped broadcasting on uh, maybe the second week of November, going on to the end of November. And then on the one of the last sermons, I remarked to some of the people that I worked with that he seems suicidal, the, the way he was speaking. I, I, I don't know why I say that, but he mentioned that he's ready to go any moment He's preparing to go and he has already appointed a vice or a, someone to take over from him. And he's, he realized that his life is not, the, the way he said it, he said he's ready to go anytime. What I'm going to do is one day soon, I'm going to just pull out that clip. We download all his videos and I'm just going to play it so that you see what I mean. So I felt that something was wrong. And then he did not manage to preach. So I think this is this was developing. Either there was someone threatening him behind the scenes, or he was getting ready to, to reveal this information to the public. So obviously, my first suspect, Natalie Mandu, she is my first suspect. She could have leaked this information. As I said, she was a former tool operator. She's someone, I, I don't know how she managed to, to get into this story. She from till operator to slay queen ending up being accused of dating Dr. it just doesn't add up and 
it, it's clear that she's someone who is not she's not into any business at all she she's just a, a slave queen at the moment and she's as you're saying swiping my man's black card give me, gives me so much pleasure and, and i'm sure she she hangs around with guys like japres as she was in that video as i said then my second suspect obviously ruveneko she could have leaked this you can see ruveneko here with my mjuru which means she obviously has access and wellens mjuru although wellens is not my mjuru's biological son he could have access to to ruveneko and if ruveneko found out that there were other women involved then she would have leaked that information to wellens because Wellen suddenly came up with this story and he was promoting it on Facebook. In the beginning, he said there's trouble in paradise. So I suspect Ruveneko here or Natalie. These are the two people that could have leaked this story if they're totally pissed off with uh, Dr. Shingemineza. And obviously, there's been stories that the daughter and the, the father, they're not seeing eye to eye. But I do not think, why would uh, Nomsa just keep the tweets and then leak them? She's already posted it and deleted it. And then if you realize, two days ago, she put a paper, a picture of a paper with tears on her Facebook. I've got a download of that, where she was just said that the situation had deteriorated before this whole thing came out. So I believe that the Mnyeza family was under pressure. They were being blackmailed or they were getting ready to release this information about this to the public. And they were not sure how, how things were going to go. Dr. Shingimnyeza, if you, you go to shingimnyeza.com, the website is down. He, he has brought down his, his website. He has also gotten off all his social media He's no longer on, on his social media, but he managed to talk to Natalie on a phone call, which was recorded, which is very, very odd. Something is not right with this situation with Natalie Mandu. And I wish I could show you the picture of the daughter. I'm sure you can, if you go to her, her Facebook and her Twitter, you can see you can see her there. You can see her, her daughter. She's got a daughter on a screenshot. You can see and try to figure out if this daughter looks like Dr. Shingamunyeza. Her Facebook is Natalie Mami Chloe. If you go to Natalie Mami Chloe, you can go and, and look there at the daughter and see if there's any resemblance between the daughter and uh, the daughter of uh, Natalie and Dr. Shingamunyeza. Because obviously something big happened here. There is something that happened behind the scenes. This is a very, very bad situation. Now, I want to go into, obviously, we've looked at who leaked it. I want to look at what went wrong with Dr. Shingiminez. Very respected man. Until this issue started coming out, there was obviously the tweet by George Charamba where he accused Dr. Shingiminez of going to strip clubs. I hope I will be able to find it then I can upload it for you. And Dr. Shingimiza responded to that tweet. So my, my theory here is that Dr. Shingimiza working in the entertainment industry with a lot of young women and obviously getting exposed to things like strip clubs, uh, or one of his companies was selling beer. He obviously got entangled. Entangled. Okay, that, that is an interesting word. He got entangled with these young women, especially the slave queens that, that need funding and being away from home for a long time. It is possible that he ended up falling into the trap of these young women. There's also the issue of funding, right? If you, if you look at Reveneko, if you look at Fazai Mahere, if you give a woman money, and she's young, she's single, what does she give you back? And then you go to someone like Ruveneko, she was married. So Mazbaba Simba claims that uh, Dr. Mnyeza broke down the marriage 
of uh, Ruveneko, which are 17 years. So this one is, is strange. Why would Ruveneko break a marriage? Did uh, Dr. Munyeza fund a media company? Is it possible? Is this a money-related issue? Is there a transaction that happened, spending t- time together until this happened? There's also the issue of a child. Dr. Mnyeza is one child. Was he looking for a child, another child, so that he can have more children since his wife is now of an older age and she could probably not give, a, give him another son or daughter. Also, you know that his, ch- his child had moved out. He had, the, it was now just the two of them left at home. Was there a fight between the mother and the father, which caused the, the family to separate but stay together for business purposes, for appearance purposes, while Dr. Mnyeza had already been gone? So that, that is a possibility also. And so, so obviously there's the issue of the strip clubs coming up with the sex addiction is this a, a sex addiction issue? Do we have the Tiger hood situation here where the man is actually genuinely he's got an overdrive of, of wanting women all the time? That was the situation in Tiger Woods who could date as many women as possible in a particular day. And obviously, if we, we have that situation, did he look for counseling? Did he look for treatment? He's someone who was a a priest, basically. He founded the Borodo Community Church. He was the leader of the Evangelical Fellowship of Zimbabwe. He's always around these people that can cancel you. Did he talk to someone? Did he talk to his friend, uh, Trevor Nguwe? Did he talk to other people? Uh, like this afternoon, we posted the video of uh, Douglas Mamvora. Did you talk to him about this situation? And what did they tell him? Did some of these people convince him that he needs to go out in the public and speak out and tell out his secret? Because as I said, from mid-November to December, something was going on. Dr. Mnyeza stopped preaching frequently at his church. And one of his sermons to me sound, sounded uh, suicidal. It, it sounded like he was saying, I'm just about to go. He said, I'm ready to go. And I was surprised why I would say that. Right, then um, let's look at the impact. And I want to to look at the impact. He has lost, obviously, his position at his church. He's lost his position at the Evangelical Fellowship of Zimbabwe. They won't allow him to come back there. He's lost his respect. He he won't be able to, to stand up and speak with authority people were looking at him as a future political leader, that is not going to happen. So it's a very, very big impact for him. But I think more is going to come. The women we're talking about here, if there is a woman who's blackmailing him, they are not going to simply go away. They will only stop once they get what they want. Also, if he's had a child with another woman, it's obviously going to come out. His child has not spoken out. His wife has not spoken out. She, she has not said anything. And she's a woman who doesn't say a lot. So we're we going to hear more. We're going to hear more leaks. As I said, today already, we have a video between Dr. Mnyeza talking to uh, Natalie Mandu. She was talking to Natalie Mandu's sister, who is called Gugu, if I'm not mistaken, this afternoon. And they were trying to deny this story. So more information is going to come out. Dr. Mnyeza has disappointed a lot of people with his actions in terms of people. They were expecting so much from him, but he has disappointed a lot of people from him. And then I want to go to the issue of his position in the presidential advisory committee. I don't think Dr. Mnyeza should keep that position. He should do the right thing step down from there. I do not know why he's holding on to that position. 
And I, I want to go to this comment here. It's a very interesting comment. Uh, before I forget, are you implying that the CIO worked with his daughter? No, the CIO did not work with his daughter. The CIO, they could have worked with, investigated him as part of their background check. Obviously, before you are appointed to the presidential advisory committee, people check you. They follow you around for a while. This is where they found out that he goes to strip clubs. And this is the information that was released. Obviously, they also found out that he was dating all these people. So if you look at the dossier that is on Twitter from Matsubaba Simba, it's very complete. It includes people like Ozias Bute. It includes people like Vaki. It in includes issues about his girlfriend at present and in the past. So someone could have given the CIO or the intelligence that information, including people like Vute, they could give that information to the CIO. It's not difficult to get. But this information was out there since July 2020. Only Wellens Mjuru, this tweet this week, ignited everything. So Wellens has a big following compared to Mazbaba Simba. So when it went to him, it then ignited a lot of other things. So there's a difference between a tweet just coming out from an obscure account and Wellens Mjuru is one of the biggest accounts in Zimbabwe. It's like if something comes out on Gambakwe, it is bound to be seen by a lot of people. If it is on a website, if it's on Facebook. So it's different. If something comes out on Tatalicious, even if it's a lie, it's going to, to, to become to trend. So like Pokelo, I do not know how Pokelo got linked to Dr. Mnieza. There is no background. There is no, you cannot link this to anything. So th there's no way, it's probably uh, Tatelisha has been crazy. However, when it comes to someone like um, the people's champion, if you, if you look at uh, this tweet here, this guy is, is never wrong. You know for a fact that Esu Lumumba knows everything that happens in Harare. He is connected to every person that you know. There is no person in Zimbabwe that does not talk to Esu Lumumba. Or that does not, if Esu Lumumba calls him, the answer is phone. So when you see Esu Lumumba saying something, you got to believe it. Something is happening here. And this is where the issue is going to come up. This is where the story is going. Fadzai Mahere and uh, Ruveneko, I, I take this as past history. This, this is not going to, to go far. If it happened, it happened in the past. The funding of Fadzai Mahere, that was strange. Why would Dr. Munyeza fund Fadzai Mahere? For what purpose? That is, there's a lot of questions there about their relationship. So to me, the two girls that are mostly still, that are likely to be in the matrix, Ruveneko here, and obviously uh, Mandu Natalie. These two, Mandu Natalie likely to have a baby if that is the case with him, with uh, Dr. Munez. However, all this is media speculation except for the fact that he has stepped down. That is the definite. He has left his, his positions in the church and he's not coming back. The church is not going to allow him to come back to Borodo Community Church. They're not going to allow him to come back to the Evangelical Fellowship of Zimbabwe. He's finished. He's done. He has to start somewhere else. Start from scratch. But he can do it he is a man that has made a mistake. And many people, they, they say this is a mistake which is admitted to and he's likely to be accepted back into business circles. Obviously, people will laugh at him. Every time he goes to the meeting, it's going to be the first thing that they say. You're dating so many women. And if people will normally leave you with their wives. They're, not, they're going to say, maybe we should not leave you with my wife or with my girlfriend because of your appetite, which is so big. 
And also, if you look at the girls that he's linked to, uh, this one here is a girl that worked under him. This is a girl who was a tool operator and a slave queen. This is a sister-in-law. This is a girl that he funded on the left, Ruvenenko. A, a slave queen at the, at the center there. So I, I see this as a man who was trying to get a relationship which was discreet, no strings attached, strip clubs. Something was happening there. Maybe a problem with his wife. He didn't, they were not getting together along and, and he had to go out and look for something that was discreet, but he still had to, to go back home to his wife for the sake of appearances. Right, I think this is all that information I wanted to share today. I don't want to say more. And I want to look at a, a comment. Christopher Madede, you must learn to keep quiet. Right, I, I must talk about anyone who is in the Zimbabwe government, who is a presidential advisory, they're eating our tax money, you must talk about them. And especially people who go to church and they preach to you every week, we talk about them. And then if Chamisa has any integrity himself as a pastor, an opposition leader, a family man, he should fire Fadzai Mahere. We talked about this yesterday. It's not going to happen. And uh, Nelson Chamisa was supposed to address the nation today, but he did not do it. So we'll give him until next week. Then we'll come out and explain why he didn't come out. Uh, one day you'll be asked to explain those false accusations. They're not false because Dr. Mnyeza has stepped down. And this is all information in the public uh, domain. Yet, Yapokelo, Nditatelisha is being Tatelisha. Yes, I, I think I agree with this one. I don't see where Pokelo came into this. I know Pokelo has done a lot, but I find it very difficult to see how Dr. Mnyeza can do such a mistake. If he dated Pokelo, then I, I don't even have a way to explain how law is gone. Because Pokelo, she is in another class altogether. If he dated Fadzai Mahere, if he dated um, Ruvenenko, I would understand. But when you go to people like Pokelo, people like uh, Natalie Mandu, you're now going to, to another level now, the, the very, very low level. And he's blaming Mnangagwa. He thinks it's Mnangagwa behind this. Well, it, it's possible. As I said, Dr. Mnyeza has been going after Idi Mnangagwa for a long, long time. But I thought he slowed down. About two months ago, he started attacking Mnangagwa in Chamisa. So is it possible that he was somehow compromised, he was threatened with the revelation of this information? It is possible. But first, he had to make the mistakes. He had to go to the strip club. He had to sleep with the girls. He had to leave his house and make that decision that I'm now leaving my house. I'm now leaving my wife. I'm now leaving my wife who's alone. There's no child in the house. And then I'm going to look for a young uh, girl that is going to get me into so much trouble. And, and obviously, we, when we talk about men that deal with young women, these women are, are their downfall. If you look at the recent cases, Dangote, uh, Dr. Mnyeza here, big prophets in Zimbabwe being dragged through the mud by young women. These young women, most of them, they've got issues, they've got serious issues. You look at them, they look good. But once you get to know them, the, the, the slay queens, they're not people to play with. They are, they are crazy. They can drag you through the mud. They can break everything that you have built over many, many years. And you can move from being a respectable man to being, uh, your name becomes nothing in, in a few days because of these slay queens. Uh, it's not an area to play in, especially if you are a public figure. If you see a slave queen, you should be looking away and running away as fast as possible. Or you should be prepared to pay continuously. The, the Harare slave queens, once you start with them, you're going to be paying and paying. And they, sometimes they'll make you pay for their kids that belong to, no, to somebody else. And 
when you want to stop, they don't want to stop. I, I think this is the situation that the good doctor here found himself in. And the end result is obviously this embarrassment that he's going through and the damage of his legacy, which has built over many, many years as a man of God, as a business person, as a father and a husband. And then obviously there's this issue of Nomsa, did she do the right thing? Nomsa, she, she's not a very stable person. You could see from the way she was commenting on, on the post. So I don't blame her. The father knew when he was commenting, the mother knew she left the comments there. So this issue, I don't blame Nomsa. I, I blame some other people who took advantage of their situation in the family. A lot of things happened with today's children. But the mistake was first made by the father. And then the children reacted. So if you make a mistake and your son sees you with another woman, you don't know what your son is going to do. You don't know what your daughter is going to do. But these young ladies, when they, when they get angry at you, they will tell you that they're going to fix you and they're going to damage you. And they're going to damage you. When they do damage you, it's going to be so big, you end up losing everything. So this is the situation. If you want to listen to Dr. Shingimnyeza talking to uh, Natalie Mandus Young's sister, you can go to Paguha YouTube channel. You're going to see the, the video there. They've uploaded it this afternoon. I, I didn't have time to upload it myself. So you can go and watch it there at Bakua. He is talking to this girl and she's trying to make him say she's not the one. She's not the one who is dating him. But I don't believe the whole thing. I think this is a, a, a stunt that I was watching there. So let, let us close this up. At least six women involved with Dr. Shingimiyaza, including a mysterious woman that the young brother said is out there who is known by the family who caused this situation. And obviously we, had, we have the other women that I've shown you here. And the wife, Wilma, she hasn't said anything. Right, this is it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. And I will try to upload this video on Facebook as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. And good night. I'll be back again over the weekend. We'll talk about different topics.